journey has been far all right guys if you're watching this youtube we're just re we're just doing the next video now um for you who's watching the stream nothing changes first we're going to go here because we're saving just in case the game doesn't save properly and it's happened before guys all right let's get going um all right let's get out of here we're heading to a new area i don't even know why i'm fighting i'm fighting him not really worth battling guys none of these enemies are really that powerful actually by nature so level 19s and 20s i mean so has the dark archives, which means there are lots of books there, right? More than I have ever witnessed around the world. Of course. All knowledge is housed in its halls. I hope we find more information about all this. And about core stones. Oh shit, you know what? I forgot there was a video I was supposed to do today. Crap, I forgot a little about it. I'll do it tomorrow. I'm not going to force myself to do it tonight. That's my fault. <laughs> I totally forgot all about it. That's not where I want to go. Where's the destination I've got to go? This way, huh? Oh, there it is over there. One of that giant tower. Actually, I noticed the game has not crashed once. Did I end up fixing up the bug? I hope they did. Uh, let's go. Bang. Alright, let's get in on there. All right, let's go. It's so gloomy here. Feels like we're gonna get jumped by a ghost or something. Could you not, Val? It is not as grim as all that, I assure you. I have not. So Islet is known for its rolling fog. Not to worry, we will get acclimated to it accordingly. Is that a menacing shadow I see in the mist? <laughs> is that necessary? Yep, he done it just to get her scared because he knows how afraid of him she is. I don't think she gave him a hard time early on, so. It sure is dark. Where should we look for Ish? All right, let's just grab a few things while we're here. Um, you know the usual stuff. Be thankful, guys. We don't need to do anything here. These things you see on the map. You probably see this purple thing on the map. Um, that is going to be, if I can get to it. It's this place. Um, now, these places I will be doing, but I won't be streaming them. I'll be just doing this a video, because I don't really want to do them on stream. Unless we get to the end of the game, guys, and I've got nothing, some time. That might I might do that, but for the most part, I'll be doing this as a video. This is the one tower, guys. I have the most difficulty. I've never done it in my whole life. I've done all the others. It's just that one's the hardest one, I think. So yeah, we'll just give you guys that knowledge at the moment. Um, we'll get there in a way. Time to go to port soon. Uh huh. I don't want to go anywhere. It's definitely. Been, oh, I hate when that happens. I'm sleepy, guys. I am really tired. Taking this? No, I don't think so. I'll take that though. Got some syrup. Yes. All right, guys. Let me see. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's grab this. Let's we will need to go that way, but we don't need to go that way yet. I won't go that way. Yes. Uh-huh. One here. Uh. Yes. Yes. I know I put also in here. Must be down here somewhere. It's here somewhere. I know it is. Oh, there it is. Let me see. 
hiding there. Okay, got that one out the way. Now we can go inside. And so more talking gonna begin, guys. Well, lucky for us, we should be relatively easy. Well, so where we're gonna go next is some battling, which is my fun part. A male. Welcome back to the archives. Who are you? Please remain calm. I am pleased to see you in good spirits as always, Master Aish. Oh, sorry, guys. That gets a bit sore sometimes, so I move around a bit. We received word from Niccolo that the party had to set off without the rest of the alms. As you may have surmised, the alm of darkness has not yet been named. I believe you all made the correct decision. That is, if I am indeed addressing the alms and soul guard, I am Aish, head curator of these archives. I am honored to make your acquaintances. If it were not for the presence of your companion here, I might have remained in the stacks and missed your arrival completely. Did you call her Pamel earlier? What is that, a, a nickname? Oh, I assumed her fellow alms would be familiar with her alias. Uh... Palomina prefers to go by Pamel when visiting Lagrazzo incognito. Oh, you mean when you wear that outfit that fools no one? Unfortunately, yes. Nonsense. Your disguise fooled the majority of the scholars who live here. They it's funny, guys. These guys are very intelligent, but not in certain areas. You are too kind, but the affirmation is appreciated. Hm. Well, if you two are friends, that makes this quicker. Can you help us find a way to deal with Dalefos? Dalefos? Interesting. I did not expect to hear the name of such an ancient hero spoken under these circumstances. Hmm. Tell me more. He's a jerk. He's bad and he's attacking everyone. I think that's what you need to know. An unsettling predicament you find yourselves in, to be sure. Much as I would love to analyze your encounter in detail, I do not think we are afforded the luxury of time. We must now turn our attentions toward a way to successfully oppose Thalophos. Great! Less small talk and more problem solving. Forgive my directness, but are you perchance a Sproutly? Your garb and stature seem to suggest so. Could be? Who's asking? This is the first time I've observed a Sproutling up close. Our resources on the subject are limited. Might I convince you to submit a few tissue samples for further study? Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm kind of busy with this whole Dalefos problem. Maybe later? <laughs> I will take you up on that. Whoa there, buddy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Circling back to our previous discussion. I believe your best chance against Dalefos would be to set a trap meant to inflict harm and sap his power. Unfortunately, the creation of such things has long since been deemed dangerous, and knowledge thereof banned from general consumption. Makes sense to outlaw things that hurt people. You will find that it has taken quite some time for humanity to reach that same conclusion, I fear. Arvik's War comes to mind. The single longest and deadliest conflict in our history. The seemingly endless fighting only ceased when the Benevidon presence made itself known. Oh, so that's how it ended. The records of the time we have on file state that the Benevidon's anger itself was incited by the wanton consumption of mana power by the people of the world. Uh huh. Oh, I get it. The scholars wanted to keep people from causing another war, so they banned the study of their most dangerous techniques. As you say. But I digress. So goes the tale of how the legendary hero traversed the world, sealing away the Benevidons in each of the lands, as we currently understand it. Even here in Lagrazzo, we has a defeated Benevidon on the top tier of the Pasigian Tome Spire, the Benevidon of Darkness, Zabulfar. Yeah, we know. After the monsters were sealed away, whispers of curses swept through the lands. Warnings of prophetic disaster should the Benevidons awaken. I hope they don't. Darkness will deepen, breeding monsters in its wake. As foretold, the Tome Spire now teems with fearsome enemies. The forbidden scripture you now seek rests in the middle of their nest. <laughs> Inaccessible to all who value their lives. But what are we going to do?
do? We must beat Dalefos at his own game, of course. Fear not. I will see you to the Passagean Tome Spire myself. Did Ace just say he was coming with us? Into a den of monsters? Yes. Can't be. He must mean to see us to the entrance. No, he wants something, so it obviously. Certainly interesting. But he does seem to want to help us get to the Tome Spire at least. He does, but he's not very. Alright, guys, let's grab the stuff that's here and get out. As long as we do this very quickly, we should be right. Now, I pre I remember where most things are in here, so brain should be running at all cylinders. Considering I haven't had dinner yet, so I don't think I'm doing a bad job. Got my focus going on here. Um, this is kind of nice. I don't know if there's any more chests in here, is there? Well, four hundred there is, so it must be some more. All right, there it is. It's in that area. Okay, let's go back up. Go that way. Go down this wild thing down here. All right, get that chest and get out. Uh huh. Game. Thank you. So guys, I'm a bit slippy tired, so I, I slide down a little bit. Like I say, I'm tired. When I get tired, I get a bit slanchy. Okay, we're done here, aren't we? Yeah, we've got a bit of talking to do, and then... We restocked the stores of ink, but according to my notes, I am afraid that the structural support for the building must be replaced as well. Already? Well, oh, time flies. Since we replaced the posts on the same schedule as the Alms Pilgrimage, without the fairy's arrival to remind us this year, we must have completely forgotten. Uh, that's how you're propping up this place? Given the state of the architecture in Lagrasso, I shouldn't be surprised. It's a little... crooked. How quick you are to judge. Every minute detail of these halls has been measured thoroughly for structural integrity. If that have, then why, why is it like that? The negligence and the upkeep will cause the complete collapse of the building. Then what are you doing? Get a replacement now! The apprentice scribe was meant to acquire a suitable reinforcement, I believe. You should ask him. More importantly, am I in the presence of this year's convoy of arms? Yes, indeed. Though they are currently lacking an arm of fire, the rest of them represent the arms of wind, the moon, water, and wood. Fascinating. An arm of the moon has not been designated for at least 16 years. We've sent several scribes to Etern in the past to document the changes since its destruction. I think those two got distracted. Hey, what else is new? What are we supposed to do about the building? Honestly, I care more about Aisha's promise to show us to the Tome Spire. <sighs> You can't just let the building fall. I'll go ask the apprentice for starters. We will accompany Aish, so as to attempt to extricate him from that animated exchange as soon as possible. Correct. We get to babysit the head curator of the Dark Archives. Yeah, well, that's one way of looking at it. Okay. If I were an apprentice scribe, where would I be? I'll be inside. In archives, I guess. Go, 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 go. It's go, 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 time, guys. So, yeah. I don't know how much longer I'll be on. I'm going to try to get this video out, but we'll see how we go. I mean, we've been on for two hours, so it's not like it's a short stream. Well, I mean, it's not a long one either. A relatively average stream. I know mean, just most game streams tend to go a bit longer, but here's what it is. And how I feel. Excuse me, I'm supposed to ask you about a structural support for the courtyard? Can you help? The support? I don't know if we have any replacements stored away. Hang on, 
aren't you the one in charge of getting new ones? I wasn't given any official requisition notice from management. Restocking these things takes time. I keep trying to tell them. Though, it is the scheduled maintenance period for the courtyard. The entire building could fall and crush the documents we have on file. There's a record of just such a tragedy in the past. A large number of tomes and the scholars in charge of them went missing after a freak accident. They were caught up in... Oh no... I can't waste any more time. Forget about the history lesson. What can I do to help now? Well, if you can find an object of equivalent length, I'm sure that will work. There has to be something here in the archives. Let's see here. The courtyard structure needs a post exactly 68.1 centimeters long. Thank you for taking the trouble to assist us. We hardly ever see such friendly visitors in Magrazzo. Friendly, huh? You don't have a lot of helpful neighbors here? A hazard of Lagrazzo's locale? This gloomy place doesn't lend itself to cheerful company, I'm afraid. I suppose a soul guard from Tiania such as yourself may be predisposed to helping people. Is it one of the criteria from which they decide who to send with the alms? Or maybe... Not another long-winded tangent. I don't have time. Hold that thought. Gotta take care of a few things. Yeah, one of these guys likes to keep talking, they talk too much. If I were a building support, where would I be? Uh-huh. Hey, uh, mind if I take a look at your broom? Oh, ho! I see that you too are a connoisseur of sweeping implements. <laughs> this broom here is over 400 years old, a favorite of one of the more famous alms of darkness. Wow! How is something so old in such good condition? Can't you guess? Not a single one of us scholars cares a whit for cleaning. <laughs> oh, we have not touched the broom for centuries. So it's a decoration? Well, I'd love to get some use out of the thing, but it's too long. My pity. It is a marvelous instrument. Then maybe you should, you know, tidy up? I think he's trying to tell you, you guys are filthy. Now, which one do I want to talk to? I think it's this dude. The giant fork is what we want. Splendid! Me? Why, I'm Bon Voyage, legendary inventor and eccentric genius. And this is my fork of unusual size. A giant's fork. Why is it so big? A giant. Large, hulking, humanoid monsters, you know? You do know, don't you? From storybooks like the ones that Hina used to read, but not as guests at the dinner table. I didn't think they made forks. This is proof of the existence of giants. Or it might be an oversized tribute to the goddess. Or a fluke manufacturing accident. <laughs> Whatever it is, it has great historical value. I didn't realize it was such an important fork. Too bad, since it's the length we're looking for to shore up the building. Why didn't you say so? It's yours! Well, that was quick. I use something of great historical value as a support post. Never sacrifice them now for the sake of the past. What matters is providing for the future. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? I guess we would. When you put it that way. Okay, I'll try it. All right, now to take this back to Aish. All right, got that. So yeah, a little bit of macking around, guys. Finally. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. Now to take it back to Aish. But we are going to be doing a lot of battling, so. Conversation that is. I know it is, she's probably trying to get the spatling stuff off the spatling. I'm probably still trying to assemble. Alright, so that area is done. We've got all the chests. That's good news for us. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing too um, fancy. And because I've played this game enough at the time, guys, I know where most things are, so. Man, got a lot of gas tonight, guys. My word, sproutlings are like nothing I've ever seen before. There is so much we could learn, so I'm much sure. we could study. Hey, they're trying to F seven. You said you're of a very advanced age, correct? Mm -hmm. The 
regenerative plant-like properties in your genetic makeup might have something to do with it. Or perhaps... Oh, you're back! Finally! Sorry, it took a while to find something usable. The diminutive nature of sproutlings might be an evolutionary means to conserve energy within a small frame, according to a treatise I read last year. Val, you have the replacement, right? Tell me you found something. It's not exactly what we wanted, but I found a giant's fork that could fit the bill. Oh, yes, the support. I nearly forgot about it yet again. You guys are hypeless. Do you mind? We were chronicling our newest discoveries on the growth cycles of sproutlings. Keeping your city from crumbling is more important. Mm, I suppose we might as well replace the support post now before we become even more distracted. Let's see. I don't know why you just don't make it permanent. Mm -hmm. A fine post, I must say. Make a note to replace this again exactly 1,460 days from now. Val, in acknowledgement of your services to the Archives, I would like to present you with the old support. Thanks, but we don't need your leftover junk. Goodness! I believe this item would be better identified as the elemental vessel, Shade Sight. How fortunate. Hm. It appears that luck is on your side, Val. They used an elemental vessel to prop up a structure? We use the tools at our disposal to fix problems as they arise. But I digress. We are finished here, if I am not mistaken. Let us make our way to the Tome Spire, as promised. <sighs> I doubt that Aish and I will ever see eye to eye. How do you manage to keep up with someone like Aish, Palomina? We have been friends since our youth, and fellowship begets forgiveness. He has not changed. So, you've known each other for a long time, then. So, that's one more elemental vessel for us. Let's see what else Aish has to show us. Nothing, probably. Alright, finally we can get serious. Sounds Boring bits like over. a tough time with this little adventure. Better gear up and make sure I'm ready to take on the Passagean Tome Spire. I'm basically sure I sure we can do all this. And sometimes, guys, games can take a while to get started. The problem with modern games, they take a while yes. for you to get started. Too much chit chatting. Right, this way, grab what I gotta get, get out, and go where we gotta go. All right, I'll go back. Yes. And to two new. Yes. New tower. Got some syrup. Taking this. this is kind of All right, I've got that. Let's go. The tome spire was built by the grand archivist Pasadian. Stored within its depths is the forbidden book we seek. Oh yeah, there's a strong boss in here. I forgot all about him. Monsters in Noah, employing it to protect his collection of knowledge, including that tome. But before I digress further, let us go forth. Say what now? Together? Didn't you say there were monsters in there? I am aware of the dangers. Are you the sort that would leave a colleague behind? Or do I not count as a colleague? As I am not one of the alms you are charged with protecting, my safety is irrelevant to your current objective. Yes, I agree. That is exactly what it is. He's worried about your safety, and that's why he wants you to stay here. Don't assume Val's indifferent like you. Aha! Uh -huh. I believe I have a solution. From now on, you may consider me a friend. Surely the bonds of friendship are reason enough to bring me with the rest of the group. Now that that is settled. Shall we climb the spire? Oh my god, I want to slap him. You can't just come and declare yourself someone's friend. It's got to be a mutual thing. My companions, calm yourselves. Aish is also an accomplished magic user. He will not slow our stride. Palomina, I know you like the guy, but... Keep in mind that he cannot be dissuaded once he has made a decision. Okay, so he's stubborn. That makes more sense. I've never 
never seen so many books. Oh, the Grand Archivist Pasadian recorded every single bit of knowledge he possessed. He preserved it all here in the Tome Spire, so that his wisdom might endure beyond his lifespan. No, oh, a scholar's dream. Okay, he's completely gone insane. One of these books is full of stuff this Pasadian guy just knew? There are more texts here than someone can read in a lifetime. Hmm. I don't know. I bet I could get through these while keeping watch over the burrow. And how long were you intending to do that, Julie? Hmm? Four years. Gracious, I was almost entirely swept away. But we have a mission to complete. Avoid what skirmishes you can, and keep an eye out for the forbidden tome. Okay, so... Yeah, don't fight but, um, monsters you don't need to, basically. That's what he's saying. Pasagene's mastery of the magical arts knows no bounds. He devised an entire structure to protect his knowledge, and to this very day, it. Oh no! Looks like Ace is falling behind! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Just doing that so I can collect it. Alright. Let's start battling our way through here. What is going on? Why does this area look so warped? I can't tell up from down. Oh, marvelous! I do so enjoy the experience of stasis flux, though I have only been in here once before. Of course you have. Many theories, but we have no concrete proof of what causes this distortion. Mayhap I will solve the mystery one day. It could be linked to instability in the flow of mana power, or perhaps a byproduct of benevodonal interference, or even a trap laid by Passagean himself. He's way too excited. We got it. Time to move on. So why to slap him? I mean, to digress means to deviate from the original thought. So, when Aish is digressing, he's talking about other subjects. Is that so? Well, in that case, basically everything Aish says seems like to me. I'm brimming with power. All right. Okay. New area. This construct becomes curiouser and curiouser the further we progress. Aish doesn't seem bothered by it. The whole place is strange. I must make a point to mention these phenomena to Aish at a later time. But I hope he has answers for you. I won't count on it, though. Alright, let's get going. This area is not very hard, it's just. There's a few boss battles, that's a, I mean strong enemies, that's about it. Now it's taking a bit longer to hit him, so it's doing better. Follow the light, guys. Oh. Just follow the place, guys. Yes. It's not that difficult. following okay Karina is your companion by any chance one of the legendary sacred beasts is this the first time you noticed Ramco was here apologies for the late introduction 
It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Ramco. All right. Correct, there should be a chest here somewhere. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, there it is up there. As I said, there should be a chest nearby. Oh man, I am sleeping out. Rain is getting ready to turn off, I think. Considering how I last few days, I think we're doing pretty good. Hopefully, tomorrow, guys, we'll be back to normal. So, a good chance I might not be though. Alright, these areas are so easy. Oops. Um, yeah. Let me see. Is this? Alright, there should be a boss coming up any minute now. Yeah, this room looks familiar. No? Not this room, okay. This does not this look suspicious. Yeah, not even a big deal. Remember, guys, I did miss one, but that's not important. Bongs are grappled or collectible, who cares? Alright, um. Uh, I believe the next room, guys, this, is, this looks like an enemy. Not worth my time. At least we're getting some good experience now. 2,000 experience is not bad. Alright. Oh boy, this is giving me a headache. <laughs> guys, got lots of guests tonight. Guests. Okay, here we go. We should be able to beat this guy in a few hits. We have arrived. The book we need should be in here. Hmm. The disaster prophesized for this region may have something to do with the presence of monsters in the Tome Spire. But how inspired is it for Passagian to have utilized such misfortune for his own purposes? Zenoa is a sight to <sighs> Now is not the time for observation. It's time for action. All right, this guy's dead easy. Really putting monsters in his place is a bit extreme. I don't think this monster will go easy on us. Yes, he will. We must dispense with such an intriguing subject. Damn. All right, done. Much easier to do when you don't have to level up. All right, so we got a good amount out of that. That was a good. That was a good kill. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Hmm. 
after extracting the requisite essence from the components, the saturation level should be... Yes, I had not even begun to think of that technique. Passagean was truly a genius. Once the substance is soluble, we will have the compound, correct? Indubitably. Then finally, the crystallization. It's all right here. The key to our success. The methodology is flawless, but the information is outdated. I believe with some adjustments to the necessary ingredients... Mm. I see. It should be possible to procure these provisions. Should we be having this conversation in a monster nest? Careful, Morley. One might say you sound jealous if they didn't know better. I'm not jealous. Let them talk about weird science experiments all day for all I care. Fine, fine. Just don't say I didn't warn you. Eureka! I believe I have struck upon a method to weaken Dalefox. All right, good. But first, I must consult with Bon Voyage. While I discuss the finer details with him, you must gather the ingredients necessary for the elixir. Uh, ingredients? What ingredients? I must be off. Palomina, explain it to them. And there he goes. Do not worry. I know what elements are essential to the execution of this endeavor. Shall we? All right, all good. Um, yeah, so I am a bit tired, guys, so I'll probably slow down a little bit, but hopefully we can get another half an hour to an hour into it. That would like us to acquire. First, the croak of a frog. That's not going to be hard. A striped egg, only laid once every thousand years. Finally, the fur of a chatty cat. That's a tall that one's a more fun one. Where do we find all that? Didn't Aisha and that other guy talk about all this junk earlier? You know, when Val was looking for the support post. Right. I did hear some mention of stuff like that. And I wasn't tuning out the conversation, at least. I think we'll be able to find all of it right here in La Grazzo. Ace ordered us around and hightailed it out of here. Though I guess we are the ones asking for the favor in the first place. Palomina, I had a question for you. How would you describe your relationship with Aish? Do forgive me for forcing you all to toil at the behest of my associate, and with hardly a hello from Aish himself. I suppose that I consider him my trusted tutor. I quite admire his capacity for learning, and his passion for attaining knowledge. At times, Aish comports himself like a mature intellectual, and at others, I confess, I consider him like a brother brimming with curiosity. But perhaps what I most appreciate is that even after my ascension to the throne, Aish treated me the same as always. Yes, he is a close companion of mine. Oh, I see. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on a spot like that. Morley, you should have asked to talk to Rune Private or something. Give yourself some alone time. Oh my god. Your plight has stirred the muse within me. I think I'll write a song about you. Don't worry, I'll perform it for you first. What are you two going on about? Please accept my apologies for any affront that Aish may have afforded. I should have warned everyone about his abrasive nature. Oh yes, he should have. There you go again, acting like the big sister. Come on everyone, let's hop to it. If we split up, I bet we can find all these ingredients in no time. Alright. It's gonna be easy guys, um... That's three ing ingredients... One's right here, so I'm gonna correct it should be able to find them in the area. Better start looking. Grab you, that was easy. Normally I have trouble grabbing that one. Any trouble? Uh. Huh? Oh, no, 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 Get it off me! Karina, wait! Don't move. Uh-huh. I didn't know you knew how to do that. Can you do it for tricks? I'll give you a quarter. I mean, that would be a nice little trick to do. You don't see an egg like this every day, that's for sure. I don't know, it's a bit giant size for a chicken egg. I mean, I'm under, if it, the egg must taste delicious, guys, because I like my chicken eggs, so, or eggs in general. Grizzly. I'm just wondering how it tastes. Curious. Uh-huh. 
Also, guys, if you watch, if you got any of these from my Minecraft stuff, I will be doing that in about three days. Well, yeah, technically two and a half because of the time differences, but yeah. I'm getting pretty excited getting back to that because now I've got it planned out. Ah, oh, yes, love birds. Pardon me. I am sorry for that incidental imposition. Oh, no, no. I should apologize. Yeah, you should. Get a room. Molly and Palomina's faces were bright red. I hope they didn't catch anything. Oh, God, you're just as dense as they are. I like the sound of that. Yep, I know what's going to happen. This one's a good one, guys. I'm going to have to... It's fine, Francine. I'm sure you were... mistaken. No, 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 I'm not. I'm sure I saw a ghost. You just weren't paying enough attention. I was so. I think what you saw was probably just a scholar from the archives hidden by the fog. Quit being such a scaredy cat, Francine. It's the Merchant Sisters again. They show up in the weirdest places. They have to go where the customers are, don't they? Though, it doesn't look like they're selling anything. No, they're not. They're not selling a thing. Let's see how chatty we can entice these kitties to get. You're such an evil person, We're but it's so funny. When there's a whole new market to explore. Remember, Father would be disappointed if we gave up because of silly ghoulies. Easy for me to to say. Scaredy, scaredy kitty cat. Hey, chickens. Somebody order some chatty cats fur. Uh, thanks, Jule. That's that's one way of getting it. That would always crash me up. I think that's hilarious. Okay, the fur of a chatty cat, the croak of a frog, and a striped egg. That's everything. Good work, right. everybody. All that remains is to return the required items to Von Voyage. So where is this Von Boy Who's It? Huh? Oh, I remember. Von Voyage is the person who gave me the giant's fork. Let's go talk to him. Yep, let's do this. Go, I still get more serious on. Time to pay Von Voyage a visit and drop off these ingredients. Here's oh. hoping this does the trick and helps us weaken Delafos. I hope it does. It'd be nice if it does, guys. But. Sorry to intrude, Von Voyage. We've um got a request to ask of you, I guess. <laughs> Took your time, didn't you? Ace already told me all about what you fellas are up to. I have finished the necessary preparations, so leave it to me. Yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. This neatest and bestest method. Remember, use my inventions at your own risk. What oh, yeah, that sounds promising. A bit of danger. Excuse me? Cat? What are you doing in here? Pass the components for the torpedo to me. Oh, that's what I named it. Clever, don't you think? Ah, I see you have all three. Now, it's my turn. This little beauty will solve all your problems. And if it doesn't, no returns or refunds. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's one completed torpedo for you. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I can finally get Hina's core stone back. Hmm. 
You know, inventing is full of trial and error. But that doesn't mean making mistakes is a waste of your time. A mountain of past failures is a testament to your conviction. You learn from it and move forward. It's easy to abandon your efforts and stop trying. What's hard is continuing to do what's necessary for you and yours. So don't give up. Alright, we'll kick on, guys. Now we're getting there. Very soon we'll be fighting the um dangerous. next um uh, up and on, whatever you call it. Doesn't have a sword mouth, guys. Yes. I thought there was something here. Taking this? Or whatever. Man, guys, I can't stop farting tonight. I've been farting all night. I mean, there's also the place here that you could, um, that could transmit smell. You would be dead by now. Alright, let's do this. Congratulations on your success. You took your time completing the experiment, but better late than never, I suppose. Oh, it's just rude. Sorry. Please give me the Corpedo. Yes, quite intricate. A prime example of Von Boyage's handiwork. Of course. So, what do we do with it? De La Fosse's power is sealed away together with the Benevadon at the top tier of the Tome Spire. That is where he will appear. So that is where we must head him off. With Corpedo in hand, we will lie in wait until De La Fosse arrives. We then use our secret weapon before he has a chance to revive the Benevadon. Having reviewed your fighting capabilities thus far, I believe you will have no issue ensuring that the man comes into contact with the Corpedo. What's supposed to happen when Delafos touches it? Upon contact, the device will disperse a toxic deluge. Though it will not kill him, the pain should be at an untenable level, slowing his advance. Golly, that does sound dangerous enough to qualify as banned knowledge. Indeed. Why, that ancient text described the original Corpedo as capable of destroying an entire battalion in minutes. Whoa, be careful with that thing. Yeah. No kidding. Thank you, on behalf of the alms, for all your assistance, Master Ace. Unfortunately, things are not going to go the way he wants it. Wait until after the mission is deemed a success before you thank me. The Corpedo may not even work. However, time is of the essence. Let us make haste to the top of the Tome Spire before Dalefos beats us to it. What? Already? <laughs> Would you rather wait? Every moment we waste is an opportunity for Dalefos to regain his power. Now is the time to strike. Okay, I don't know what you're doing here, though. No, it can't be. Dalefos? Here? You were supposed to go for the Benevadon. Yeah, you don't stand a chance, dude. More bumbling attempts to interfere, I see. Not calculated for this. Stay back. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. That's right, books at him. Gonna hurt him. Oh, it's slow as attacks down now. Maybe we can't get up and do anything about it. But now that we know it can work, we can just make another one and wait for him to go to another area. It's gonna hurt. Cerulea. My heart. My Cerulea. 
I will never surrender! Cursed goddess, how long must you make me suffer? Put it in the time. Delafos. You were once lauded as a hero among men. You received the favor of the goddess of Mammon, <clears throat> wielded her weapon against the monster menaces, and saved the world. Why oppose her now? Please tell us, what is it that you wish to gain? What could the annihilation of the goddess of Mana possibly accomplish? I do not answer to pests like you! Yeah, that's why you're you're stumbling out of this place. Yeah, that's a good shot. He got away. Hina, I'm sorry. Telephos was meant to head for the Tome Spire. I had it all planned out to the minutest of details, and yet. Look now, but Delavos already woke up the Benevadon of Darkness! I know this wasn't the plan, but we gotta go to the Passagean Tome Spire now. Please! Wait. Take me with you. Please. What? Did you think we'd leave you behind? No, but if you refused, I would stay. So now you're willing to listen to reason. Did that fight knock some sense into you? I don't... I don't know. Apparently, I know nothing. I have accumulated knowledge from all corners of the world. Yet I do not understand this feeling. But I think you are the key. Thoughts? It's okay. You can come with us, Aish. You're our friend, right? Yes. A... Uh, friend. Thank you. There you have it, Master Aish. All right, let's go. Delafo still has enough power to unleash a Benevidon after that? We gotta stop it before the scholars... Yeah, well, we've gotta go there now, guys. Attack it. And then we start going to the next area, which is probably my favourite one. All right, let's go, 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 go. Um, this way. It's much easier to play through the game, guys. Well, I've, no, I've got everything pretty much what I need, so I don't even need the... Get weapons or anything, so this is the second, I guess, the second quest type of thing. I was hoping it was to be a bit more hard, or maybe they changed a few things or something, but they, they have not changed anything. Which is kind of disappointing. But yeah. This one of these guys, if we keep doing the way things the way we are, we should have this done in a few more days. And then we can move on, point back to like, um, maybe Neva Spirit Unbound or something to finish that off. So we've still got that to go, guys. In the past, when I first attempted to enter the Pasadian Tome Spire, I found myself overwhelmed by the monsters within. After you arrived, I assumed this was the perfect chance to try again. With the Soul Guard and Alms protecting me, I would be free to search the spire to my heart's content. I called you friends, not out of feeling, but to gain unfettered access to the knowledge within these walls. I used your kindness. But now that I stand here, on the eve of battle with a Benevidon, I find that I want to prove myself useful. I am not here for books. I am here to help my colleagues. It took me this long to realize it. Hard to believe that arrogant scholar from before has made such progress. Uh, arrogant? Come now. I would say discourteous at work yes i am so glad to see you both getting along friends must fight a common foe not their fellows yep we're all one big happy family now come on val Julie. let's leave them to it all right let's go yes siree that is the aura of a benevidon if i ever felt one all right go up there does the benevidon of darkness actually make things darker I can't see a thing. We don't know where it might be hiding. Be on your guards. Go, 
going a little bit higher, guys. We're almost there, aren't I? Actually, I think we've done everything. I oh, know we have not done everything. Almost, but not quite. That looks suspicious. I don't know why. It does not look like a chest. Oh, no, it's a chest. Alright. Oh, I nearly fell off the edge. What the hell's going on here? Oh, what are they doing? We have arrived at the top tier of the spire. Okay, so where's the Benevidon? He's here. That... Strange. This area looks different from the archival descriptions I've read. See that large stone tablet over there? If I remember correctly, and I do, there was no mention of this being broken. Maybe the Benevidon broke it after it was set free? Maybe. The rooms on the left and right seem to have something to do with this. As with the entirety of the archives, this tome spire is governed by the powers of the elemental of darkness. Perhaps the vessel may be of some use to us? Yes. We'll find out. Not like we can find a Benevidon that isn't here. Oh, he's here. You just can't find him. Which way should we go? Left or right? They all look the same to me. You decide now. <laughs> all right, let's go. Woohoo! You came here on your own fish? Oh, no. I never made it this far into the top. I shudder to think of what happened to me in the fire. There won't be anything like this. All right, let's do this. This boss is going to be pretty easy, I think. Why do I think it'll be easy? Because you look at our levels, we're way over leveled. Uh, I've moved it back into position. Look at that stone thingy go! Now we just got to do the same to the other one. Let's give it a try. Right, back we go. Taking this. Incoming. Incoming. Oh, is there anything here? Because it keeps showing me there's something there, but where? Huh. That's weird. We'll do all that soon. All right, let's do this area, and then move on. Hey guys. I know I'm gonna bother with the one above me because I can do. Alright, we're doing okay. That one, yeah, there's a chest over here. Oh, Alright, what's next to our game? Alright, um, I've heard everything. What is this? It is. Okay, great news for us. I'm gonna have a cookie. Alright, um, why can't I get you? Gotta get closer. There we go. I think we'll get over there before it goes over there. Taking this. Incoming. Well, maybe not. We got over there before I did. Alright, boss battle. All right, this does not. For one to gain knowledge, another must forfeit it. Hmm? These guys are not that hard, guys, especially Lost. considering we're overpowered here. Achievement for another. Benevidon of Darkness. Zabel Far, I presume. Seekers of wisdom. Darkness will return you to the void. Yeah, right. You're not used to. You're still going to be dead in one hit. Quite a sinister silhouette. So this is Sable Far. I mean, like to make an answer. The Benevidon is sure to be no matter for this convoy. I don't even know what level. Okay. The vessel of darkness may be 
provide some insight to use it on the walls of the floor. I'm dead. Everyone tell us why. That was easy. Okay, here we go. One, two, a third head. Yeah, it's a female, so. Why is it two guys and one girl? Can I just. Oh, wait. Turn around. Can I bet you directly? Nope. I can't really do much to you. I gotta beat the other two first. Why can't I hit him? There we go. Oh, I can attack her directly. Oh, well, I'm going to, Nian. Alright, they're all dead. Oh, well, can you guys? We're nearly at 92. Um, I don't know if we're going to make it to 100, 100 uh, level 99 time we get to the end of this because I can't just... believe it. I, we defeated the Benevidon of darkness. <laughs> More like the Benevidon of dumbness. And here comes the fairy. The new Elm of Darkness has been found. Ish. Insightful curator of Lagrazzo. Ish. By the grace of the goddess of mana, I name you the Ohm of Darkness. I did not foresee this result. Should have expected it. You must be mistaken, fairy. For the Ohm of Darkness has always been a scholar of such profound intelligence that none could compare. Allow me to enlighten you. Ah, Shade. How's it going, Shade? You're looking dusky as ever. <sighs> Julie, let us leave the pleasantries for a later time. <clears throat> Aish of the Lograzzo Dark Archives. You have been hampered by your search for knowledge without intent. However, through these recent experiences, you have known ignorance, camaraderie, and a thirst for understanding. Such traits are befitting of an all. That's true. I am sorry it took so long to appoint you. Shade just couldn't make up his mind until the very end. These decisions are made with much deliberation, discovering truth within the darkness of doubt. I am not immune to indecisiveness, elemental though I may be. It's a very friendly one. Aish, see that you very weird looking one too. Thank you for the honor, but I find that I am perhaps not as moved by this cause as some of the other alms on this pilgrimage. You are not alone. The citizens of Lagrasso care not for the prestige of the title. <sighs> that being said, I am proud to hear that my endeavors have garnered your praise. If you will have me, I would see the alms duty through to the end. Right new to us. Alright, that one's done. Now we've got the last one, the Alm of Light. I don't know if we can do this in this video, but well, we'll see. Was a bust. Not that I wanted to fight a Benevidon and Delafos at the same time. But still, we know one thing for sure. If Delphos was trying to regain his lost powers, he's probably headed to another kingdom as we speak. When Delphos ran off, he said something that sounded like Cerulea. I may not have all the particulars in my memory, but the name does seem familiar. The personage was a character in a play. The Radiant Playhouse Terratio periodically produces productions of this sort. One of the performers may be able to shed some light on the Delphos situation. The man himself does not seem willing to listen to us. Therefore, it is up to us to gather more information on our own. Sounds like Terratio is our next stop, then. Maybe we can even meet up with the Alm of Light. 
A scholar informed me that the final alm has not found their way to the capital. It would behoove us to confirm their condition as well. The faster we leave for the Radiant Playhouse, the sooner we'll know what's really going on with Delothos and this Cerulea. Please continue your journey without me for the time being. Eventually, I will join your pilgrimage. Oh, you wish to stay? I have not exhausted the Archive's data on Delophos and the remaining Benevidons yet. There are still ancient texts I want to reference. Of course there is. Then let us go our second oh god, I didn't realize, but we've been playing for three hours. Just enjoying it, so... Likewise, this is not the last you will see of me. After all, we are friends, are we not? <laughs> I shan't soon forget. The Radiant Playhouse is Yeah, if we can get the next part done, it'll be great. May your travels be safe until we meet again. Son, I wish I didn't eat all the chocolates earlier on. Shall we give Vuskov a call and get a ride to Lorimar? We'd be lost without Vuskov's help. I gotta thank him again. Remember, the island of Lorimar is. All right, so on. I think. Oh, guys, if people liking my stuff, I hope that's good. That's good news for us. I wish they um, Dan Labs would work on my Facebook, but I got a feeling I know what's causing it. I still don't know why Twitch is playing up though on it. That one's a very odd one. Um, let's go up there and activate that since we're here. Now, we've got to go to the last area, guys. If I can get this last area done within this video, i will be great. Um, it won't be very long because it's not a very long area. Not as long as this one. This one was a bit longer. This area is relatively quick and easy, so we should be able to do it in about 30 to 40 minutes. Right, let's get out of here. So that's our goal, guys. Uh, if I had more energy, I probably would have strained longer, to be honest, guys. If I sat, maybe if I started earlier as well. Just what's on down here, guys? I still gotta have dinner. Yes. I haven't even had dinner yet. I'm dying and stuff, and starting to get really hungry. Yeah. All right, let's do this, guys. So yeah, guys, if you're on my Facebook and you're liking this, I will do apologise in advance that I'm not anything about it because I don't know about it because my um steam labs is being an asshole I might see if I can start configuring it properly tomorrow and make sure it all do working now I believe the minecraft one works perfectly it's just the uh, that one so um what's I doing I was doing something and I've forgotten minecraft so I already had okay so I had three reactions I appreciate that guys Really annoying that it doesn't tell me that though. All right, let's head. Oh, now where are we gonna go? We gotta go this way. This way, yeah. It's over there. We will go around this way, guys, because I don't want to get caught in. There it is. That's where we're gonna go. Big snowy area. I have to go this way because there's a good chance we won't get caught in anything. All right, there we go, guys. That's the last island we gotta go to, so remember that. Actually, second last island. Take that back. It's one more, but it's a little bit further down the track. Um, I'm enjoying this game, guys, and I keep forgetting. But I'm almost, almost tempted to put a cork up my back because I keep farting every five seconds. Wow. Obviously, your body's not used to it. Of light. I probably shouldn't have had that junk. The Aurora. That's really affected my health. I think I remember sure you telling me about this phenomenon. I never thought I'd see it in person. Shiri, who? My boyfriend. Your business, Jule? Gee, you were the one who brought him up. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? 
we thank you all for coming to the Radiant Playhouse Terratio and apologize for the inconvenience. Unfortunately, our scheduled performance of De La Bos and Cerulea has been delayed. Indefinitely. Indefinitely. Unfortunately. You hear that? De La Bos and Cerulea. Just what we came here to see. Not good. We've come a long way for a cancelled performance. There appears to be no appointed arm of light. Is that of pertinence to the postponed play? Well, there have been a few issues with our thespians. We don't know why, but the actors aren't in performative condition at the moment. That doesn't sound Does good. something to do with naming the Alm? But of course. We perform this special tale for the fairies coming. Over the course of the production, a spotlight will fall on the one to be named the new Alm of Light. If we cannot perform, it could be the end of the island of Lorimar. That doesn't sound good. We cannot turn a blind eye to their plight. Let us ask the actors how they have been afflicted. Good idea. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the luck, guys. I should actually check on the performers have my Facebook open better. when I'm doing this. Hope it's nothing serious. All right, let's do this. Um, this is kind of exciting. Nice. So this area is not as long as the last area. I don't think it's about half the time. Let's plan our next move. And this area is not that difficult in a way. Uh, before you get too excited, guys, I might have to go to a toilet run. Yeah. Alright, guys, I'll be right back. I just gotta go to a toilet. I'll only be like two minutes through here pretty quickly. I don't see this area being too long. Not that I remember, in a way. Most of the time, it's just gonna be us waiting and talking. I'm doing a little bit of a, a temple, yes. that's about it. That's a nice area, it's like the Northern Lights. Also guys, I've got my Facebook running. I should be um, promote, starting to use social media to promote these things. I don't do any social media stuff at all, not when it comes to promoting. Not even for my edited videos. Can't be. Maybe I will in the future. Yes, I will be playing De La Fosse in this year's show. Yeah, okay. Please, save the autographs for another time. <gasps> I would be honored if he would be amenable to an autograph. Uh, Palomina? What's this we've been hearing about the actors being unable to perform in their current condition? Oh, that. You see, I can't remember. I mean, I literally cannot remember what happens in the play. And after so many auditions to land the role. Why can't you just read the script again? Can't be that hard to memorize your lines. Would that it were truly so easy. But when I glance at the page, my mind goes blank every time. It would be so bad if I was the only one afflicted. But, oh, the horror. Every single actor is affected. Who knows when we will ever be able to put on another play again? If we cannot produce an alm of light, how will we ever face the mana goddess? We will be ruined! Okay, calm down. I can't deal with a De La Fos lookalike acting so pitiful. F forgive me. Oh, I need some fresh air. Such a shame to have landed a leading part and then be faced with these difficulties. How can we help? It sounds like this development is recent. Maybe it has something to do with the seal on the Benevadon of Light. It might. De La Fos has been going around messing with the Benevadons after all. That's true. That's an idea. Why not use the Lumina Lantern on these actors and see if the Elemental of Light can counteract the Benevadon's influence. With Lumina's power, that might be possible. Try it out on one of those artists over there. Oh, you mean that oversized fairy? All right, let's do it. I almost thought we were talking to the real De La Fos for a second. Okay, pull it together, Val. You gotta head to the... All right, let's do this. It's no 
use. I cannot remember a single line. Should we turn the production into a pantomime? That won't help if we can't recall the plot of the show. You're the troop leader. What now? The lady they are referring to as the leader has been performing since her youth. I have seen a great many memorable masterpieces by her. My, but you're the convoy of alms. Welcome. I am the leader of this troop. I am also playing the lead in our production of De La Fosse and Cerulea. Um, Unfortunately. You, think? you are. Don't forget how important you are to the play. My head is spinning. I can't lead anyone when I can't remember what I'm supposed to do. I should quit acting. You cannot. Do not cast away your career. Val, please. The Lumina Lantern. R right. Um, we think the power of light can help your town. Do you mind if we try something out? Hold on! A thought just flashed through my head. I remember something about Delaphos and Cerulea. Many years ago, war ravished the place we know now as Arvid's Pasture. Mortal was pitted against mortal in a seemingly endless struggle. That conflict that spanned generations was known as Arvid's War. This is the tale of the one who brought it to its end. Of course! That was the introduction! Which is all well and good, but I still cannot recall a thing myself. Oh, you must help us! Use your elemental vessel on the other actors and get them to remember their roles. I beg you. Yeah, that should be pretty straightforward. Sure. Where can I find the performers? All over town practicing. They'll be spread out across the island practicing their parts. Find them quickly, please. All right. So also do some collecting while we're here. You know my usual collecting, guys. Come on, you can't. How do you not know I was going to not say that? Lantern sure came in handy. Hopefully, it'll have the same effect on all the actors having issues with their parts. A nice area, though. I think it's up here where I want to go. Yep, there it is. All right. This is kind of exciting. Is this? All right, um, let's go this way, go around. Taking this. Wait a minute, I wonder if I... I don't remember catching the little thing here. I've got to check. Oh no, I must have got him hooked right here, so yeah. Alright, never mind. This is kind of this might be useful. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, let's talk to this, thing, this guy, and then talk to the other two over there. Uh, what was it again? I was Delafos's enemy, right? Or was it his ally? No. Oh. He looks really torn up about forgetting his part. Get out the lantern already! My, what a bewitching gleam you have there. It touches me deep within my soul. The light will help you. Just keep looking at it, okay? That's it. Watch the lantern. Eureka! I've got it! I finally remember some of what happens in Delafos and Cerulea. It's all back? You're sure? You would doubt a professional such as myself? Here's a rendition of my part from the beginning of the play. Oh, there we go. Delafos and Cerulea. Act one. Enter General Delafos, fresh from the battlefield, worn down but still going strong. The warring factions had begun cutting down innocent farmers and their families. Delafos spots our heroine Cerulea as she attempts unsuccessfully to flee. Now, the general was a soldier the likes of which had never been seen before or since. But even a man of his caliber was unable to stop the onslaught. 
an arrow is loosed at the fair maiden, Delophos takes the arrow in her stead, leaving his right arm damaged and immobile. The two manage to escape the battlefield and leave their past <coughs> behind them. They are the only survivors of that bloody skirmish. So Delophos saved Cerulea at the cost of his arm. I guess he couldn't fight anymore after that. Huzzah! <laughs> I should head backstage and let the troop leader yes, know he that should. I'm ready for my close-up. Thanks for saving my acting career. All right, that one's done. Sacrificed his arm for her. That takes courage. Yes. Courage or stupidity, I guess. Depends how you look at it. Did I enter from stage right or left? Oh dear, this won't do at all. Are you part of the acting troupe? Why are you carrying around a lantern like that? What are you supposed to be? The ghost of Alms and Solgard's past? I'll leave the role playing to the professionals, but you should take a good look either way. Well, I'll be. It's like the haze has cleared from my mind. You have all illuminated my way in the dark. Yep. Why, you're not just saying that, right? How can you be sure? A fine thing to say. How about I spoil the middle of the play for you? Then will you believe me? I can with that one pretty easily. Delafos and Cerulea. Act 2. Delafos gains mastery of the mana sword. Delafos and Cerulea begin a peaceful life together, away from the devastations of war. Until one day, an emissary of the mana goddess comes to Delafos, begging for his be to the world from chaos. This fairy tells him of great Benevadon monsters brought about by the mortal's war. Only one strong enough of both heart and body stands a chance against the fiends. Delafos accepts the mission and receives the Sword of Mana. Miraculously, his injured arm is healed and his former strength restored. All right. Okay. Delafos takes the Mana Sword and goes off to slay the Benevidons. Got it. Why am I still here prattling on to you? I have to find the troop leader and let her know I'm ready. Thanks, I guess. Bye. Manny, a bit rude. I think she needs to slap him. The goddess's request and her sword. He really was a hero back then. Well, he's not now. The goddess's heroic. No. The goddess his own not that either what is the line mister you look like you need some help who, who goes there uh, nobody just some theater enthusiast in fact the troop leader asked us to ask you to look at this lantern the goddess is hero champion slayer of all eight but never dons oh that's it what a load off my mind well, well, lucky you. Think you're up to performing the part? Well, I should rehearse once first before I go back. And stay and listen. Alright, uh, this part's a bit slow, but I do. Delafos and Cerulea. Act 3. Delafos's epic journey. At the behest of the mana goddess, Delafos traveled the world. Sword in hand, subduing each and every Benevadon as it appeared in his path. The road was tough, but Delafos persevered. He single-handedly defeated all eight mighty monsters, earning him a hero's welcome from the people he saved. Delafos was unstoppable for one reason and one alone. A promise made on Entwine Bridge Pass to his beloved Suru. Someday, I swear I will return to you. Until that day, I swear I will 
fight for you. He traveled the whole world subduing Benevidons alone? Yes, alone. Hard enough time in a group. I'm saved. They can't recast me now, but I better practice some more before curtain call. You have my gratitude. We're lucky the Lumina Lantern works so fast. There is a bright future for this fellowship of actors yet. Now that we've gotten the hang of it, let's use the lantern on the troop leader one more time. Agreed. Back into the theater we go. Alright. Turn around. We gotta get the troop leader to remember her part. She should be on stage. Time to bust out the Lumina Lantern one more time. All right, now remember she's one of the If it isn't the arms. Thank you for assisting our actors with their warm-ups. Is everyone accounted for? Well, there is one minor hiccup. Our troop leader is nowhere to be found. Can you Yeah, she wanted off. Oh, this is terrible. Horrifying. But what? Did something happen to our leader? No, you can say that. Look at the sky. What is to become of us all? Huh? Yeah, the sky's changing. What's going on? I've got a bad feeling about this. Make silvers. Cover here. We'll check it out. All right, let's get going. Oh, so. I'm with you. The show cannot go on without our troop leader. I have to find her. Stick close to us and don't go looking for trouble. So basically, stay behind us, okay? So no one gets in the way. No, not the... For goodness sake, so one, two, mate, two footsteps and... Oh, Ash. Ish, boy. Wait a second. Ash? Ash. What What's some Ash for? My investigations in Lagrazzo have concluded. I did say that I would meet up with you when I was finished. Didn't expect you to get here, though. Please note that I do not bring glad tidings, however. Yeah, we noticed. I observed a peculiarly dense concentration of mana power flowing toward none other than the Temple of Wendell. The Temple I think that's where we should be going. As I'm sure you know, was once a sacred place of pilgrimage in the days of Fadiel. Oh, the was it now? The power of darkness, namely knowledge, and that of light, the thirst for truth, have always been intertwined. Two halves of the, the same, same hole, if you will. For those same hole of each. I want to seek the truth. In the distant past, those learned people sought solace in Wendell. Informative lecture, but we have other things to worry about. Namely, if that mana power is what I think it is. It is what you think it is. As Julie has undoubtedly inferred, the Benevidon of Light has been released from her seal. Figures, always trust your roots. So I always trust your instincts. It's probably a better. Oh dear. We must find our leader as soon as possible. Delafos? Oh, I had not accounted for this. Well, Lax, dude, it's not a real person. He's playing the part of the protagonist in Delafos and Cerulea. But his Cerulea counterpart is nowhere to be found. Hmm. I did notice someone wearing peculiarly theatrical clothing wandering off in that direction earlier. Oh, dear. Where could she have been going? I don't know, maybe the temple? Since it's the only place you can really go. For a moment, I mistook that man for Delafos himself. Hm. A brilliant costume, in fact. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, we all know. Remember, guys, if you enjoy the channel and what we're playing, um, always follow us. You know, we're on online. With you. And it helps us out, of course. Wait for you always. I don't know what she's mumbling about. Walking like a zombie. What did she say? Maybe not like a Minecraft zombie, but a zombie nevertheless. Maybe Maybe, but I doubt it. Um, let's look around, guys. There are things here to collect. You can see them in the map, but the map's not really good at telling me exactly where they are. So if I'm guessing, there's one there, but I'm assuming it's behind yes. a house somewhere. Let me see. Nice. 
We got that one. All right, the other one's over here, guys. So I end up doing this area before we finish up. That means the recording part of it might take a bit longer than normal. But I just want to get it out the way, so we'll. Champion of the goddess and hero to the people. Do not bother with me. I am fine. I don't know what's going on there. She right. doesn't seem to know what she's doing. We must keep a weather eye on her whereabouts. Me, I don't know what I'm doing half of the time. Grizzly. There it is. Okay, we're getting everything done. Now let's go and in, enjoy ourselves. Talk to this person. Now, guys, this is my um basically second quest, so I don't need to do this this side questing yet. Because I've already done them once before. So, saying that I will do them, I just won't be doing them for a while. Probably closer to the near the end of the game. Alright, go this way, get to the last one over here, then head back north. Now, this one's not too bad. I could probably do this one if I really wanted to, but we'll do that later. Um, is there any more? There's two more, and they both look like they're up that direction, so let's go. This next area has probably got the best music in the game. I know that's not the main reason I want to do it. I just want to do it to get out of the way, but it's a reason I want to do it because I like the music. So this area is snow and ice. It's very, um... We're very cold, to be honest. I don't know how he's getting away with that kind of get up, but okay. All right. Yeah, she's gone to the temple for some reason. Forgive them. Be at peace. Be a beacon of hope, my hero. Okay. This reminds me of when Palomino went off on her own in Sata. How far is our troop leader planning to go? It could be dangerous. Well, if she goes to the temple, it's going to be bloody dangerous. If she goes inside, guys, it will be dangerous. Dilo, please stop. Wait, don't go that way. Terulia, you must escape from this battlefield of sorrow. I will sacrifice my arm, my battalion, anything to save you. Dilo. I will wait. Ah, oh, finally, it's wearing off. Uh, huh? Uh, what are you doing? You were not in your right mind. I only meant to stop you. Why am I here, of all places? Because you're walking this way. Remember? There is a chance that your consciousness was corrupted by an outside force. I myself was once overcome in such a way. Your conversation sounded like lines straight from your play. Was it rehearsed? No, it was all ad-libbed. I just said what sounded right. I... I can't even think straight. Oh, my head. Hang on. Let's try the Lumina Lantern. It's not gonna work here, dude. You're too close to the source. No. Nothing. I can't remember. The glaring light will obscure the boundaries of reality. reality. This is what Lorimar's prophecy of destruction portends. The cause of this amnesia may be linked to the reactivation of the Benevadon of Light. Appropriate if the power of the elemental vessel stays the effects somewhat. Light, like the moon, has power over the mind. If we can defeat the monster, everything will go back to, go back to normal. Sounds like our only option is to stop the Benevadon. Yep, that's the case. We have no choice. Shall leave the subjugation of our foe in your capable hands. So yeah, guys, we are going to do it, even though it's a bit over. The thing. Who cares? How noble. 
So you don't intend to grill them on this the second they're out of danger? My, my, you are smarter than you look. I would be remiss in my duties as a scholar if I didn't document this incident thoroughly. Of course not. Let Ace do what he needs to. No, well, maybe not, actually. I might just finish it here. We have to we can do it at the beginning tomorrow, when... guys. Make it more easy to deal with. When we are apart, my friends. Not a big deal, guys. It won't take that long to do anyway. Like half an hour. If I keep going to recording, it's just not going to link up nicely. Alright, we go inside. It should be a safe area. I believe there's a safe area near the start, and then there'll be one further in. I think. If there is sense, we'll leave and look that way. Since the time of Fadiel, right? The decor does have a certain nostalgia to it. Was the world really that different back then? Honestly, Sproutlings and Spirits lived in a whole other realm, so I have no idea what you saps were up to. Never crossed my mind. But now I wonder what people hope to gain by coming to places like this. Yeah, well. I never cared about that kind of thing in the past. Other people's business was their own. You've grown a lot over this journey, Dulé. A change of heart isn't a bad thing. My travels as a hired blade were what really opened my eyes to the world around me. Thanks. I'll try not to let my newfound altruism go to my head. Aha, uh -huh, so you were getting worried. That's not what I said. Like the truth seekers of old. Our no, but that's what you're implying. To this temple. Okay, that's enough self-reflection. We have a Benevidon to defeat. Yes, we do. Right. We have a duty to the actors and to the future Alm of Light. Uh, this area is not very long. Odd that Aish had no interest in observing the Benevidon. I think he was preoccupied with the actors and what happened to them. I see. A stranger phenomenon superseding the interest in the first. That does sound like him. Activate! Alright. If I turn it like this... Aha! The key is reflecting the light so we can move forward. This is hard. Well, you do it. <laughs> sure. Time to get more practice in with the elemental vessel. Not worth battling, they're in a little... You know what? Maybe they asked that worth it. Uh, maybe not. I failed. I wasn't by your side. Huh? That voice. C can no one else hear it? No, I think you, dude. What I like about the music, guys, it's so creepy. It's so cool. This is the coolest place in the whole game. Looks like we've been teleported. I mean, it won't take long to get to where we're going to go, so... Help us out. Thanks for the pick-me-up. Taking this? Nope, oh, they just reflex. Okay, we've got to get back down here and get back up. Looks like we've been teleported. Got some syrup. If I turn it like this, if I turn it like this, okay, it's gonna be easy to work out when this is just. If I turn it like this, if I turn it like this, if I turn it like this, there we go, door open. I know you can hear music, guys, but this area sounds so cool. I should never have gone. I would never have left your side had I known. Wait, there it is again. Is 
that voice Telephos? Yes, it is. All right, let's keep going. Find somewhere to save, guys, and we'll finish up there. You know what? We'll just leave. Actually, we'll come back tomorrow, guys. I don't know where. I don't know where the save point is. It could be a bit further up. It's not a big deal. We'll sort tomorrow. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up, guys, because I want to have dinner before I go to bed. I appreciate everyone who came on and all that. Don't forget to hit the um, subscribe and all that shit. Or like or whatever the case may be, wherever you're watching this on. Um, yeah, but that area has got the best music in the game. Anyway guys, I'm done for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed. Cheers. I'm going to hit the ha basically have dinner and hit the hay.